Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a slightly different video. Today there was an announcement by Pathia. Pathia is the dev team that brought us my time at Sandrock and my time at Porsche. Today they announced the next game title in the my time world called my time at Evershine. Um, basically formally known as Project Me. Um, if you didn't know, Project Me was supposed to be a game in the My Time universe, but not a My Time game. It was going to be a mobile game. And then uh, it was an, there was a closed alpha test, which I actually have a playlist on my channel. I will link it in the description. Uh, I apologize in advance if you do watch it because I was sick like most of the filming, so I sounded really bad. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, and that it was only a mobile game. It was going to only be an Android game, actually. And then this year, that was, I would say, June of 2023. In January or February of this year, 2024, they did another test, actually two tests. One was like a gameplay test and one was an interaction test with their the um, developer at the time, which was, I think, Verse. I don't remember exactly. Again, it will probably be in the description if I, if I write the, say the wrong name. That was going to be the development team who was working with them. And after both the tests this year, they split ways. So they for a while then said, it, then it, it was crickets for a little while. And then they said, oh, we changed our mind. We're going to go in a different direction since we, we are no longer working with that dev team or that uh, publisher. I guess would be the correct word. And so they said this game, instead of being a mobile game, is going to be a full fledged PC game slash console game. They didn't say it was going to be a my time game. And then that announcement came shortly after. And then they started doing some teaser images. So this is the latest image with the name My Time at Evershine. So this will be the, the next game in the My Time series, just as a thing, because this was a thing on Discord today. I don't want to get into it. Uh, the devs have confirmed there is no AI drawing on this image. Yes, so to confirm, this was drawn by an artist. So just putting that out there. Um, so yeah, so this is the image. Some of these people we have seen before. Um, I'm going to bring my mouse over. We've seen him. That is Avery, Captain Avery of the Alliance. We've seen him in Sandrock. These two... Uh, I believe this is definitely going to be the male player or builder. This is probably going to be the female builder. Uh, this is Freya. She was like a farm girl who kind of um, helped you out and kind of like she was like an Emily from Portia. Uh, this is Rudy. Uh, we have seen him in the Project Me. Uh, Rudy was a businessman who wanted a simple life. He ran the recruitment center. And then this was Panna, who we also did hear about um, in also in Project Me and in Sandrock when Elsie, if, spoilers, spoilers, if when Elsie comes back from her little glow up, uh, she met Panna, uh, who is a monster hunter. Uh, these other people like him, him and him and him, him I thought was a thief. I don't remember, though. Uh, this person we may have seen before. Um, but anyway, so this is Project Me. Um, Project Me, oh, this is the male player showing the portions. This dog's name was Sharon or Charon. I don't know how they pronounce it, but uh, that's what this is. So they decided with this game, they're going to go in a new direction, a more realistic proportion. So this is the male builder in the scenery. So this is the little puppy. We'll zoom me in. So yeah, so instead of like how Sandrock, this was a more cartoony look, they are definitely going with a more realistic portion. But I do think this guy is this guy. The only other person this could possibly be is another character. Um. Oh my God, what was his name? Shin? That's the only other person this could possibly be. Um, this is the only other person who that might be. They again got a glow up. If that's the case, they sh cut the hair. That's the only other person I could think of that this could be. As you can see, the art is definitely, it's a beautiful place. It is gorgeous. I remember from playing the 
Alpha. It was a gorgeous game. Reminded me a lot of Portia. Um, here is a big overview of the entire town. So <clears throat> this game was a, a town building game. I think they're still going with the town building aspect. I don't know what it's going to be like 100%. I'm thinking like in my brain, what I am thinking it's going to be is similar to the My Time at Sandrock multiplayer. That is what I envision it kind of being. If you've never played the My Time at Sandrock multiplayer, what that is is essentially it is Sandrock before the train station, before the ranch had the place to sell your horse or your camel. It was also before Owen had the current blue moon. It was before Vivi's looks like it does. It was before the museum was fully upgraded. It was RVO wasn't even there. Amira wasn't there. So I think it's going to be there. Um, originally, your house was over behind here. If I'm getting the right, because there was a river to the side. Originally, your house was like behind the ruins here. And then you would swing around. This was all open land. And then um, over here was where like the town would have been way over here. And these were the runes on either side for, that were like your abandoned runes. Um, like the Ufala or like Gecko Station. That's where those, th those were, were on either side. And as you can see, this pink leafed tree is prominent in all of like in the art. Um, so that is obviously going to be like Mama Tree was in Sandrock. That's going to be like a prominent feature. And then here's Freya. Um, this is a, a little house. Um, we are now, I think, looking. So from this picture, we are essentially, I want to say over here, looking this way. That is where I kind of pic am picturing us right now. Um, Cause this was a big room, it looked like an office building. And then this whole prairie was where you built the town. Um, so this is what I'm kind of envisioning, but this is Freya again. Um, and just a beautiful mountain. Some people were trying to say, oh, that mountain is the same mountain in Sandrock, like the one way behind your house. I don't think so. I think that that's too close uh, from where it is to us. I mean, it could be. It looks different. Um, where I'm wondering is, I have to get the map. So looking at the map, as you can see, there is no Evershine. I, I don't know if Evershine is going to be the eventual name of the settlement, because this is settlement number seven. This is where this is taking place. I do not know if that is the eventual name or what, but the, my one complaint with the name so far is that for Portia, well, Portia's right there. For Sandrock, oh, well, Sandrock is right there, but there's no Evershine. So I hope that this, this changes. They did change it, of course, for, um, Sandrock, this is a different map than what you saw in Portia. Um, this is the map, I believe, from Sandrock. But, so, like, the only thing you know from Sandrock, after when Musa visits, is that the whole point of the Northern Settlement Plan was to boost the defenses between Athea and then Duvos in the Orzu region. Well, the Orzu region is not on this map. Again, I hope it goes into more detail. But you think, okay, so in the north, well, here's Athea. So the only other thing we know geographically is that the Northern Development Plan was on the opposite side of the Eufaula Desert from Sandrock. Uh, so it can't be this way and it can't be that way because then it'd be Portia. I don't think it's going to be this way because we're getting too close to Doss and Atara. These are gonna, this is a game they've kind of confirmed is going to be later, as is this Vega 5. Those are going to be much, 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 much later in the whole series. Personally, I think that really leaves the last place 
for the Northern Development Plan, wherever Shine can take place, I kind of think it has to be right here, right on the northern edge of the Eufaula Desert, because this yellowy blob is the entire Eufaula. And on Discord, one of the devs said that one of the things they're going to address with the game is... Being in the north in the Eufaula, why are they so green? So if they are, if that is true, then that makes them probably right around here. If because they said that's one of the things they're going to have to talk about. So they're they essentially said on their Discord that it is part of the Eufaula Desert. So to me, it has to be right there. That's to me the only place. Uh, I this is all not part of the alliance. So, I mean, here's the peripheries, Medi, the Great Pagodin. I None of these are part of the Alliance. This is the Alliance. So for Avery to be there, it has to be over here. And because it, it needs to at least border this. But I don't think it would be this close to Atara, especially if they're going to eventually do a game in Atara, because then they're going to get locked into a style of what the environment looks like and all that type of stuff. And I don't think they want to do that this early in to lock themselves into what it, the game's going to look like. And they haven't done anything for it. So, um, yeah. So in this image that they have shared on their Discord, um, these are the new proportions of the characters. So on the left, you have Avery's art from Sandrock. So this was uh, his little uh, NPC bio type picture. This was what Avery's art was from that. So as you can see, not very proportioned. Here, they are trying to do a proportioned human body. I think they got it. I think it's more realistic. Um. The main, a lot of the criticism that people had of Sandrock and of Portia had a very childlike appearance. Not all of the characters, certain characters like Elsie and then even our own builder had a very childlike look. So I think by changing the proportion, they're hoping to maybe appease that criticism of the bad proportions on the characters. And then this is something that they shared this morning. Um, these are all the new character arts. So here's Rudy's new character art. This is this guy right here. This guy, I still don't know who he is. Um, the original game, Project Me, had Grandma Lily. She was the tavern owner and like a tough as nails type of a woman who was going to like whip us into shape. Uh, she, I don't, I don't know if they're going to keep her. I have no idea. Um, but this is that guy there. I don't know who he is. And I also don't know who he is. Um, but these are the new artists. So this is a guy, I have no clue who they are. I'm assuming, though some assuming is wrong, just based upon his look, he might be maybe, um, Maybe an adventure. He might be maybe a civil core. Probably not civil core because they do tend to have slight outfit in a way. Um, I don't know. Rudy, we've seen before. I don't, they haven't decided truly on what they're going to do with his character. This is Tia. She was the grocery store owner, but it was more like, um, it wasn't, it was more of a souvenir shop slash like, an oddity shop more than it was a grocery store. Um, this was is Panna, who is a monster hunter. Uh, in Project Me, she had like a an obsession with Logan, as we all do, but it was more that she wanted to beat him in a fight. And she didn't did and lost. So she's coming back. Um, and then of course Freya, who we've met, and this person I don't know. There's another character who has not been seen in anything named Kang or Kang, K-A-N-G. And he was a student who quit being a student due to trauma, I think from wars or something. I don't really remember. I only vaguely saw him uh, in the Project Me Alpha. 
I don't know if they replaced him for her. I have no idea, but she looks like a student to me, just with her old, whole get up and like the bandage on her knee. Just to me, she just screams like a teenager, maybe early 20s. This was Inez. I'm almost wondering if this and her are the same character. I am almost wondering if Inez is this person. Um, Inez worked in the town hall. Uh, that was basically her job. She just kept the records. She didn't really, I, I believe this was, was, was her position. She just kept the records and the business records. So I'm guessing that that, that may have been Inez and they just gave her a different look. Cause she always, she seemed like a little mousy of a character. Uh, maybe that was just, they took a lot of feedback in on what we, all those surveys they asked about, a lot of that was implemented for this, for what we wanted to see. Okay, this image here I just wanted to show um, was something that the devs put out this morning, which is um, the, the progression of the promotional image that has the Evershine logo on it uh, to show like how it changed over time. Uh, I thought it was interesting just to see the evolution of it, the characters that were added and taken away. Um, it's what's interesting is that some people were saying this thing in the back that why is there a floating island? I thought the same thing too for a second. And then I'm like the airship. Um, so the airship is something that we will have to come back to uh, in a moment. But this I just wanted to show they wanted to show this. This, this was a, a hand drawn item, not AI that this was the progression of this image. So I thought it was important to show, being it was a whole kerf a big thing this morning. <laughs> Here is the trailer for Project Project Me. I thought I would show it to show where we came from. So there's Freya. This is Rudy and that's Luca. This is Khan. So in this, like I said, this was a game in which you built the town up. I think, like I said, it's still going to be the same idea. I have a feeling it's going to be more of a set town. Here's Erasmo. Um, so this was, I believe, at the top of the ruins where the pinkish tree is. Um, these were just robbers. There's Logan. This was the female character. So to see where they came from. So the airship said we were going to come back to the airship. Hannah and then, of course, Avery. So the airship in the background, I wrote in a post saying, I wonder who that person is on the top. Mm -hmm. Could it be her? And could this be Logan's mom? Something on your mind. No. Could it be? I don't know. I right, so. Again, is this woman at the top, this lady here? I do think it's a woman. Um, is that Logan's mom? I don't know. It could be. Um, well, we have the airship right here. And she was on the airship. So we do know that at least the person in the photo, I mean, in the trailer, was at least a member of the Flying Sharks. A pirate group. We at least know that from the pin on her lapel. But there's only all, only other alternative she could be is Everglade from Portia. But then is Everglade from Portia, or I think her name Ursula Everglade, is that also Logan's mother? Because we never knew what happened to Logan's mom. We literally only know that she disappeared when he was a child. That's it. That's all we know. So is that so is she going to be the villain in the game? I have no idea. But it's obviously in that thing she was up to no good. So I don't know if they're going to carry that stereo over. I hope they do. I sincerely hope that they do. But anyway, so that was some of the information I wanted to share. Um, the Kickstarter has still yet to be announced. They are still saying it will be uh, sometime in the next, but in the second half of September. They just wanted the campaign photos to be out and to allow people to follow the Kickstarter, which I will link below if uh, you want to support it. So yeah, so I just wanted to do this quick little announcement video. I end up being longer than I wanted to do. <laughs>
Anyways, I hope you enjoy. Take care of yourself and bye for now. Thank you.